Hello everyone. This is the video where I show you how to make a S3 bucket public so that any user with the URL will be able to access it. I don't think it needs to be said, but I'll say it anyways. Make sure that you're not doing this with any sensitive information that you wouldn't mind if anyone looks at, uh, because again, you're going to be making this bucket public. So anyone that has the URL will be able to download it and take a look at the file's contents. Uh, so here we are in the console. I just have a basic bucket here that I created a few moments ago. Uh, we can see by default the access shows us as not public. So that means that no one can see any content of this bucket from the public perspective. Uh, so I went ahead and uploaded just a sample file here. So let's take a look. Uh, so we have sample.json. Um, so if I click on the open button here, I should be able to access it. And we see here it's just a JSON file. This can be anything though. It could be text file, a Word document, anything that you really want. I'm gonna close that. And here's the URL down here that we're gonna be making public. Uh, so if I try to click on this URL now, I'll do that in a new tab. You can see that by default we get access denied. And that's because by default in AWS S3, every bucket has a default private access policy. Uh, so no one from the public perspective will be able to access any of your files unless you add a policy that allows them to do so. So that's what I'm actually gonna be showing you in this video how to make this so that when we click that URL, we'll be able to download that file. Uh, so let's click on that, close that out. Let's go back to the root now. Okay, so at this point, let's show you how to change the access policy. So I'm gonna click on the bucket here. So there's two steps that we need to do. Uh, the first one is we need to disable the block all public access. Uh, so we're gonna do that by going to the permission section. You saw I just clicked that. And we see here, um, block all public access, like I said before, is always on by default. So we need to disable that. And we do that by clicking on edit on the right here and we want to disable blocking all public access. Uh, so this alone won't make any of your content uh, publicly available. Uh, it's just the first step here. So we're gonna click on save now, and it's giving us a nice warning here saying that updating the block public access setting will affect this bucket and all objects within. This may result in some objects becoming public. That's okay, it's, I guess that's a good thing that they give us a warning. Let's type in confirm there and click on confirm as well. Uh, so we can see that the the uh, policy was updated successfully. So the second thing we need to do is create a bucket policy. Gonna click on bucket policy here. And we need a bucket policy that allows us to perform the get object uh, action. So I'm, I have a policy pre-prepared here that has the permission that we need. So if we take a quick look at this, we're seeing that it's an allow uh, effect and we have it on the get object action under S3. And then in terms of the resource, I'm pointing it to my specific bucket name here. Uh, so that's my bucket name, AWS Simplified S3 Demo. And the slash star here makes it so that any folder or subfolder within this bucket and any file within that folder will be publicly accessible. In other words, everything in this bucket will be publicly accessible with this policy. Uh, so make sure that's what you want. It's what I want in this example. And I'm gonna click on save. So we can see here after we did that, we can see two things happen. We got this warning that says this bucket has public access. And we see here that the bucket policy and the permission section turned orange and now has this public badge on it to give us a warning that you know this is publicly exposed to the internet. Uh, let's click on save again, I guess. I'm gonna go back now to the bucket. Now let's try to download this file again, but instead of using open, we're gonna be using the object URL. So hopefully if everything worked correctly here, when I click this, I'll be able to look at the contents of the file. Okay, so there we go. So we can see here I was able to download and access that JSON file. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out my channel for many more S3 and AWS videos. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much folks, and I'll see you next time.